Day 10, ladies and gentlemen, of this holy season of Lent. I welcome all of you back, and if you've noticed right now, things look a little bit strange like here, almost as though I'm sort of starting to fade. This, ladies and gentlemen, is its manifestation. The fear, ladies and gentlemen, that you are there, but you are not there at all. The fear of fading away into a world where you are nothing more than a memory and that all people have to live on is the foreknowledge that you, at least at one point, probably existed. It doesn't seem altogether unnatural, ladies and gentlemen, that this should be the natural order of things if it wasn't for one thing. If this way of life, this outlook, was in any way tolerable. It is excruciatingly intolerable, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm about to explain to you why. Throughout this last week, in fact, going back to the uh, to, to Sunday, I explained uh, with great venom but great passion as well, is that if there's one thing that's got to actually change in this country, as far as, you know, politicians, just normal working pe people and, you know, everything else in between, I'd suggest that the first thing that's got to change is people's attitudes to each other and the fact that people will find the most petty and minute reasons to cast people as enemies for life and that we've got to view them with suspicion and hatred, mostly induced by the press, the tabloids, anything that actually tells us who or what the enemy is or are or what they are meant to be. As a Roman Catholic, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to say this with tremendous gusto right here and now, this is a philosophy I do not agree with. I still very much agree with the philosophy that if we are going to live on God's rock at all, we should first learn more than anything else ever before in history, is to get along with each other. We should be learning how to work together, not fight each other. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most fundamental principles of my own life. And I've said this maybe more times than you probably might think, especially throughout last year, throughout the peakness of war and the desolation and the horror that it's cast upon the world. But you may also remember that I said something a little bit unpopular last year. I think it was maybe probably near, dis near Christmas time, I think I might have said it, because I had never once heard anybody else say it. Not the priests, nor anyone else that I knew who, 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 who pract we practiced the same faith, any person of any uh, Jewish, uh, he uh, Jewish heritage, or who was Islamic, or who was a Sikh, or a Hindu, or a Buddhist, which is, I think, quite surprising because, and I've mentioned this before, one of my best friends who lives down south and who is also a Buddhist is actually a tremendous arbiter of peace and of the need to end conflict and to make friends and build up plans with each other. And I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen, there's actually quite a lot of things in Buddhism that I personally would love to indulge in. I would love to explore this, a, 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 an entire culture, an entire system of thought, a faith, a belief in, in such things as uh, finding peace or making peace or bringing our enemies together and making them our friends. And to that end, ladies and gentlemen, I said that in secret, I voted, I wanted to pray for the sensibility of Vladimir Putin to bring this conflict to an end, since there is no way that this conflict can have any reconcilable or any sort of definitive victory for the Russians. I said that, and I considered it a bit of a controversial thing to say, even though, and I will be completely honest and true about this, ladies and gentlemen, I said it because that's what I believe in. They say, you know, I believe, you know what, you have to look out for your friends, but you also have to pray for your enemies. Because as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, love thy neighbour. So therefore, I do not have any enemies. 
I do not have people I dislike. I do not even have people I even hate. Because in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, hate is a very, very strong word. And it's not really the sort of thing that I would actually kind of use really more than you might think. Because 